an audio only recording of an exercise session for Vision of Adventure. This recording is supported by Disability Rights UK, a cycle session led by Kath Finn. Please note right. that you'll need some form of stationary so, bike with control and resistance for this session. We were starting on the mat, we've got our feet flat on the mat, our knees up towards the ceiling, we're bringing our upper body down to the floor, so our feet are in front of our bottom, our legs are about hip distance apart. We're going to have a little bit of a wriggle and see if we can get that lower back in contact with the floor. We're going to tuck our chin in towards our chest, and we can either have our um, hands on the floor, palms flat on the floor, or we can bring our palms up onto our belly, whichever is comfortable for you. And we're just going to turn our attention and focus on our breath. So we're going to inhale and exhale through the nose. I'm going to take that breath all the way down to the belly. So as we inhale, we have a nice steady breath all the way down to the belly. And then we want to feel our belly rising up towards the ceiling as it fills with breath. And then we take a pause at the top of the inhale. And then as we exhale, the belly gently falls down to the spine, nice and steady as we exhale fully. And then we inhale again, we take the breath down to the belly. We feel the belly rise up towards the ceiling. We take a pause at the top of the inhale. And then we exhale and feel the belly fall down towards the spine. So we're going to do three more rounds of this breath in your own time. We're working towards just focusing on the breath and letting any other thoughts that come into our minds just float away. We're working towards having a nice flowing breath that seamlessly moves from the inhale to the exhale. We want to keep the breath smooth and smooth and trouble free. So let's do one more lovely breath here. Really feeling the movement in the belly. And then when you've completed that final belly breath, you can let your breathing come back to its normal pattern. And then we're going to take our arms and our hands up and we're going to draw them around our knees. And we're going to draw our knees in towards our chest. And we're going to have a little bit of a roll from side to side on that lower back, just giving it a gentle massage. And then we're going to, really, we're going to keep the right knee into the chest. And we're going to release the left leg. And we're going to stretch the left leg out towards the end of the mat. And we're going to leave it hovering off the floor. And we're going to turn our left toes up towards the ceiling. So keeping that left, left leg nice and active. We're drawing the right knee into the chest. We're taking our attention to our shoulders. We're keeping them soft. The chin's tucked into the chest. The lower back's got contact with the floor. We're taking one more breath here. And then we're going to release that left ankle. We're going to rotate that left ankle three times in one direction, maybe wriggling the toes as we go. And then we're going to reverse and rotate that ankle three times in the opposite direction. And then we're going to drop the left foot down to the mat. And we're going to draw the left foot back up towards the bottom. And then we're going to take our hands underneath our right knee so that the right leg just flops over our hands. And then we're going to inhale and we're gently going to release that right leg up towards the ceiling. So keeping it nice and fluid, just stretching it out loosely. And then we're going to exhale and we're going to let that leg drop, flop back down to where it started from. Lovely. And then we're going to inhale and we're going to take that leg up towards the ceiling again. Just stretching it out nice and gentle. And then we're going to exhale and we're going to let it flop back down to the starting position. And this time we're going to exhale and we're going to take that leg up towards the ceiling. And this time we're going to hold it there. And we're going to do some more stretching with this leg. So we're going to try and turn the sole of the foot so that it's parallel with the ceiling. We're going to try and draw the thigh in towards the chest. You can use your arms to help. We want to keep those shoulders nice and soft in the mat. We want to avoid clenching the jaw. We want to work with the leg. 
So try and straighten that leg as much as you can while you draw it in towards your chest and keep on working with the breath. Got one more lovely breath here. And then we're going to release that right leg, knee. And we're going to draw both knees back into the chest for a moment. And we're going to have a little bit of a rock from side to side on that lower back. Okay. And then we're going to keep the left knee into the chest, holding onto that with our hands. And we're going to take the right leg and we're going to travel the right leg and push it away from the body. We're going to hover that right leg above the mat. The right toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. We're drawing the left thigh in towards the chest. We're having a little bit of a wriggle of that lower back and those shoulders, keeping that lovely contact with the ground. We're going to hold it here and take a breath. And then we're going to release that right ankle this time. So rotate that right ankle three times in one direction, keeping the foot hovering off the floor and maybe wriggling the toes. And then we're going to reverse. We're going to take the foot in the opposite direction. Just rotate it, keep it nice and loose. And then we're going to drop the right foot onto the mat. And we're going to draw the right foot along the floor and up towards our bottom. And we're going to remove our hands from the top of the left thigh and take them underneath that thigh. Let that leg just flop down. And then we're going to inhale and we're going to take that leg up towards the ceiling nice and loose. And we're going to exhale, we're going to let it drop back down nice and soft. So we inhale and we reach it up nice and loose. And we exhale and we drop it back down nice and soft. And this time we inhale, we take the leg up, we're going to leave it there. So we're going to draw that thigh in towards the chest. We're going to turn the sole of the foot so it's parallel with the ceiling. We're maybe going to use our arms and our hands to help us draw that thigh in towards our chest. We're going to take our attention to our shoulders and our lower back and keep that nice contact with the floor. We're going to take our attention to our jaw, see that we're not clenching the jaw, that's still nice and soft, as we just work the leg for our final breath. And then we're going to release that leg. We're going to bring both knees into the chest once more. We're going to have a little bit of a roll from side to side. And then we're going to release our hands from our legs. And we're going to take both legs out in front and let them fall down to the floor. Um, and then we're going to take our hips and we're going to shuffle our hips over towards the right hand side of the mat. And then we're going to walk both legs over towards the left hand side of the mat. So in the opposite direction of our hips, we're going to place both feet together. And then we're going to take our arms up and over our head and we're going to take hold of our left wrist in our right hand and we're going to stretch our arms up and overhead and then we're going to see if we can draw our hands over towards the left and we're going to see if we can draw our hands towards our feet so that we're creating a little bit of a banana shape here. So you should have your arms and your hands are up and over your head and drawing down towards your feet and your feet are out to the left and feel like you're stretching your legs and your feet over to the left as well. So you've got a lovely stretch down the right hand side of the body. We're going to hold it here for two breaths. So breathe nice and deep. Try and keep everything that's in contact with the floor nice and soft. We've got one more lovely breath in this lovely stretch. And then we're going to walk both feet back to the centre of the mat. And we're going to release our wrist. And we're going to bring our arms up and over our head so that they're central. And then we're going to shuffle our bottom over towards the opposite side, so towards the left-hand side of the mat. And then we're going to walk both feet over to the right this time. So walk both feet and legs over to the right. And then we're going to take our right wrist in our left hand and our arms are still up 
and over our head. And we're going to now draw our hands towards our feet on the right hand side. So you should have created your banana shape on the opposite side now. So we're going to hold this banana shape, feeling this lovely stretch on the left hand side of the body. So this is a great stretch for when you've been working out, Diane. And we're going to breathe here, letting everything soften down into the mat. Pulling the feet towards the hands. One final breath here. And then we're going to walk both feet back to the center of the mat. We're going to release our wrist. And we're going to bring the arms up and overhead to the center. And we're going to shuffle our bottom back to the center of the mat. And then we're going to draw our knees into our chest. We're going to bring our arms forward and hug those knees into the chest for one final roll from side to side. And then we're going to release our hands from our knees. And we're going to take our knees and our legs and our feet all the way overhead. We're going to rock back on our spine. And then we're going to rock forward on our spine. And we're going to let our legs meet the mat in front of us. Lovely. So we're going to try a new posture here this evening. So we're sitting up on the mat now with our legs out in front. And we're going to draw, we've got our feet flat on the mat. And we're going to draw our, walk our feet in towards our bottom. So our knees are pointing up towards the ceiling. So you want to have a little bit of a shuffle on your bottom so that see you're on your sit bones and you've got your upper body is up nice and tall with the crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. So we're going to take our hands onto our legs just below our knees. Our shoulders are soft and down away from the ears. And keeping that nice tall upright position with the upper body, not falling back. We're going to see if we can lift both feet off the mat. So we're lifting both feet off the mat in front of us. Just raise them up. So we want to try to avoid leaning back too much. So now you've got your feet off the mat. We're going to inhale. We're going to lift the chest and draw it forward. And we're going to try and draw the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. So we're going to hold it here for one breath. And then we're going to drop those feet in front of us back down to the mat. And we're going to release the hands. We're going to walk our feet out, stretch our legs out in front and give our legs a little bit of a shake. Lovely. And then leaving your legs where they are in front, you want your legs about hip distance apart. I want your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. We're going to take both arms out to the side, either side of the hips and rest on our fingertips. And again, we're going to just think about sitting on those sit bones, lifting the whole of the upper body. So lifting from the chest and lifting the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, but dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. This is staff pose. Just going to take a lovely long inhale and exhale here. And then with the next inhale, we're going to release the hands from the mat and we're going to draw the both arms up and out and overhead. We're going to bring them up overhead. We're going to keep our hands parallel, shoulder width apart. And then we're going to exhale and we're going to hinge from the hips. And we're going to see if we can lower our chest down towards our legs. Keep our gaze forward beyond our toes and let our arms and our hands drop down towards our legs. So this is a nice gentle forward fold. What you want, what you can do is you can draw your heels in along the mat and bend your knees so that you're bringing your thighs up towards your chest and you can rest your chest on your thighs if that feels more comfortable for you. So you can have this supported forward fold if it feels too intense without that support of the legs. So just hold it here and take a breath. Keep it nice and soft. And then keeping the hands on the legs, 
We're going to draw the hands up the legs. And as we do so, we're just going to bring our upper body back up into an upright position, nice and slow, nice and gentle. That's lovely. And then we're going to take the hands to the floor, either side of the hips, and we're going to walk them behind us. And we're going to turn our fingers so that they're pointing away from our hips and away from our feet. And we're going to inhale this time, and we're going to lift the chest. We're going to draw the shoulder blades down and back behind us. We lift the chest, we lift the head up towards the ceiling. We're really going to open the chest here. We're going to take two breaths here, just stretching through that chest. We're keeping the legs are active, the toes are still pointing up towards the ceiling. Got one final breath here. And then we'll release. We'll bring the hands back to the side. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to swing those legs out to the side. And we're going to bring our body forward. And we're going to come and find our tabletop position on all fours. So in your tabletop position, you've got your hands on the floor, the fingers are spread, and your hands are under your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips, and the tops of the feet are flat on the floor behind you, and your legs are about hip distance apart. So in our starting neutral position, you want to feel that when you press down through your arms and your hands, and you lift your shoulders, and you pull your belly button in towards your spine, that your back is as flat as it can be. So this takes some work, and you want to keep your head nicely in line with your spine. So you're kind of drawing your head forward, away from your shoulders. You're just going to hold it here and take one lovely breath. And then we're going to move into our slinky cats. So we're going to press down through our arms and our hands, and we're going to round our spine up towards the ceiling. We're going to tuck our chin into our chest, and as we round our spine up towards the ceiling, our tailbone drops as our head drops between our hands. And then we're going to reverse this posture. So we release that pressure and we let our chest drop down to the floor and the spine drops down. We remove the, chest, the chin from the chest and the head rises and the tailbone rises. Lovely. So let's do that again. I'm inhaling as I round the spine and tuck the chin in towards the chest. And then I'm exhaling as I release and I let the spine drop down towards the floor and release the chin from the chest. Let's do one more in your own time. Try to really think about mobilizing the spine. Try to think about keeping the head nice and relaxed and fluid. So it follows the movement of the spine. And then we're going to come back to our nice neutral position. We're going to spend a moment just maybe giving those wrists a little bit of a shake and maybe just moving those hips from side to side. And then we're going to go into a Superman stretch here. So we're going to start with our right arm and our left leg. So beginning with the right hand, we take the right hand off the mat. We stretch the arm in front of our body, we stretch the hand away from the shoulder, and we lift the arm up away from the floor. We see if we can bring the arm level with our ear, and our head is still nicely in line with the spine. And then when we're comfortable there, we're coming up onto the toes of our left leg, and we're stretching that left leg out behind us. We can hold this position here. We're going to take three breaths here. You can hold it here, or you can lift that back leg off the floor. So you want your left toes pointing down towards the floor. You want to stay nice and stable, so you've really got to work the core here. Press down through your left arm and your right leg. Think about creating a nice straight line all the way down the arm, the spine, the leg. And then we're going to release. We're going to bring the hand back down and the knee back down. And we're going to swing those hips from side to side. 
And we're going to just release those wrists and give them a little bit of a shake too. And then we're going to come back to our nice neutral position. So thinking about that nice flat back, try to visualize what that feels like. Keep your spine, your head nice and level with the spine. And then we're going to start with the left hand this time. The left hand comes off the mat and we raise the left arm up away from the floor. We stretch the left fingers away from the shoulder. We try and bring the arm level with the ear. We hold it there. And then we tuck our right toes under behind us and we stretch that right leg all the way out away from the body. And then we lift the right leg and we hold it here. So if you start to wobble a little, try and breathe into the posture, try and lift the shoulders, tuck the belly button in, keep the core nice and strong. We've got one more lovely breath here. And then we're going to release and we're going to let the hand and we're going to let that knee come back down to the mat. We're going to give those wrists another little shake and we're just going to let those hips swing from side to side. Well done, everybody. So we're going to tuck both toes under behind us now. We're going to draw our bottom back towards our heels and we're maybe going to walk those hands forward a little on the floor. We're going to let our head drop between our hands. We're going to prepare to come up into our first down dog. So we push down through our arms and our hands. We push our heels away from the body. We lift our knees off the floor and then we take the bottom up towards the ceiling and we walk out our down dog. So once you get up into your down dog, you want to think about your foot and your hand placement. So maybe you want to try walking your feet in so that they're a little bit closer towards your hands. If you do that, you might be able to feel that you can push your chest towards your thighs a bit more and you can get a nicer V shape and a nicer stretch all the way down the spine. So as we walk it out and swing the hips, we're just thinking about our hands as well as our, our fingers nicely spread in the mat. And then we're going to come to stillness and we're going to draw those heels down towards the floor so that we're feeling that lovely stretch now down the back of the legs as well as down the spine. We're going to hold it here for one more breath. And then bending the knees, we're going to walk both feet forward towards our hands. We're going to bring the feet all the way forward so that the feet are resting between the hands and we want our knees nice and bent so that uh, we, can keep, we can keep our hands nice and flat on the mat. So bend your knees as much as you need to to keep your hands nice and flat. We want soft shoulders, soft upper body and crown of the head drawing down towards the floor in this lovely forward fold. And then with the next inhale, we're going to lift the chest away from the legs. We're going to bring our hands to our shins or our ankles. We're going to stretch the head away from the hips. We're looking for a nice flat back that's parallel with the floor in our half forward fold. We're going to hold it here. And then we're going to release back down to the mat. So take the hands back down to the floor, either side of the feet, nice and flat. Bend the knees as much as you need to, soften the shoulders, soften the upper body, drop the crown of the head down towards the floor. We're going to find alternate elbows with alternate hands now. So creating that cradle with your arms and we're going to drop the head down towards our arms. We're going to find our ragdoll and we're going to see if we can bring some movement into this ragdoll. Or you can release your hands and you can let them flow with whatever feels good to you. So what we're working towards here is nice strong legs, nice soft upper body, some movement from the hips, from the shoulders, from the head, from the arms. Keep it nice and loose, really good for releasing lots of tension. But one more breath here. And then we're going to release our hands from wherever they were. We're going to bring them back down to the mat either side of our feet. We're going to have the knees nice and bent. 
so that we can keep those hands flat on the floor. And then we're going to keep those nice bent knees and we're going to keep that bottom where it is. And we're going to take our hands off the mat. We're going to take our arms out in front of our body with our hands parallel. So we're stretching our arms away from our body with our hands parallel. And then we're going to inhale and we're going to lift our arms and we're going to lift our upper body. But we're keeping our knees and our bottom where it is. And we're bringing our upper body and our arms up to come up into our chair position. So you want your knees bent, your bottom down, your arms stretching forward. Lovely. So quite intense on the legs. We've just got one more lovely breath here. And then we're going to straighten out those legs. We're going to reach those arms up. We're going to bring our body up into an upright position. We're going to bring our arms together, our hands together overhead. And then we're going to bring our hands down to our chest. And we're going to rest our thumbs on our chest. And we're going to hold them there. And we're going to take a lovely breath. Lovely. And then we're going to release our hands. And we can give our legs and our arms a little bit of a shake. Well done. So staying at the tops of the mat and maybe working with your feet about hip distance apart, we're just going to think about how we're standing here this evening. We're going to draw those feet down into the mat. We're going to tuck our tailbone in. We're going to drop our shoulders down away from the ears. We're going to lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. I'm going to hold it here for one breath. And then I thought that we would try um, a balance here this evening. So we're going to take our weight into our right leg. And we're going to see if we can bring the left knee into the chest and use our arms to hook that knee in towards our chest. So if you want to stand by a wall to help so you can take your right hand out to the wall and you can bring the left knee up so use your right hand to balance you against the wall and draw that left knee in we're going to hold it here so as we hold it here we're going to think about lifting the chest and drawing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling we're going to hold it here for one more breath And then we're going to very gently, keeping the hand on the knee, we're going to see if we can turn that knee out away from the centre of the body. But we don't want to turn the body, we want to keep the body facing towards the front. So it's only a very subtle movement. We're going to see if we can hold it here for one more breath. And then we're going to bring that knee back to the centre in front of us. And we're going to release the knee and take the foot back down to the mat. We're just going to shake our legs out a little bit. Well done. So we're going to try the same on the opposite side now. So you might want to adjust your position so that you've got the wall on, on, on the other side. So before we go into the balance, we're just going to think about our standing position again. So we're going to think about really rooting into the ground through both of our feet. We're going to think about standing up nice and tall, crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. We take the weight into our left leg. We take our left hand out to the wall for some support. And then we're drawing the right knee into the chest. We're using the right hand to pull that knee into our chest. And we're seeing if we can stand up nice and tall, Keep that standing leg nice and strong. See if we can drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Can we draw the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, staying nice and tall for one more breath. And then we're going to see if we can maybe gently draw that right knee out towards the right hand side a little. So it's a very small, very subtle movement. You don't want to twist the whole of the body. So just see where your leg goes and hold it there for one lovely breath. 
and then gently draw the knee back to the center of the body and then release the hand and take that leg back down to the floor and give those legs a bit of a shake. So from where you're standing then at one end of the mat, we're going to step back with one leg so that we can take a really wide stance between your legs. We're going into our wide legged forward fold, Bruce. So you want to be using the whole length of the mat. So you've got one foot at one end of the mat. So from where you are, Bruce, you want to step back with one leg and then turn your body to face the long end of your mat. That's it. So you want to turn your toes so that your toes are both pointing towards the long end of the mat and your feet are parallel. That's it. Shift round. Lovely. We've got it. So now we're feeling nice and strong in our wide legged position. We're going to take our hands onto our hips. And we're going to inhale and lift from the chest. And we're going to exhale. We're going to fold from the hips. And we're going to bring our upper body down towards the floor. We're stretching the head away from the hips. We're just going to go halfway. We're going to hold it there. That's it. So keep your knees nice and soft. Stretch the head away from the hips. Think about a nice flat back that's parallel with the floor. Take the weight all the way down your legs into your feet. Let's hold it there for one more breath. Lovely. And then we're going to release our hands from our waist and we're going to let our hands drop down towards the floor and we're going to lower our upper body down a little further if we can. So just reach your fingers down towards the floor. It doesn't matter if they don't reach the floor. Let your upper body fold and let the crown of the head drop down towards the floor. So we're going to hold it here for three breaths. You might feel that once you're here, that you can heel toe your feet out a little wider. So please do so if that feels good for you. But we just want to work with the breath in this position. We want to see that if, as we exhale each time, can we just fold forward a little bit further? Lovely, really lovely. So we've got one final breath here. And then we are going to drop our hands down to the mat. So bend your knees so that you can get your hands down onto the mat. And then we're going to heel toe our feet in towards each other so that our feet are coming closer together. And we're going to finish that movement with our toes pointing away from our body. And we're going to see if we can use our hands to help us drop our bottom back down behind us towards the floor and see if we can find a squat position. So play around with the position of your legs. Use your hands to help you. Lovely. So you can stay here balancing on your hands, just seeing how far you can take that bottom behind you. Just breathing into this lovely squat, seeing what it feels like. Excellent. I know you're all enjoying this, I can tell by your faces. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, you'd be pleased to know that we're going to drop our bottom down to the mat now. So I tend to take one hand behind me and one hand in front to help me balance. That's it. So they can drop your bottom down to the mat. Lovely. Well done. <laughs> and then we're going to swing those legs out in front once more. So we've got our legs pointing out in front of us. And we're going to give them a little bit of a shake. Lovely. So then we're going to take our left foot and we're going to place that on the mat and bend the knee. And we're going to draw our left foot in towards our bottom. Lovely. So then we're going to use our left hand to help us take that left knee down towards the floor, out to the side. So let that left knee drop out to the side, down towards the floor. So we might want to have a little bit of a jiggle on that, um, on your bottom so that you feel that you're still on your sit bones, on balance on both sit bones. You want to keep your right leg nice and active with the right toes pointing up towards the ceiling. 
And we're going to take both arms out to the side and we're going to rest on our fingertips. We're going to drop the shoulders down away from the ears. We're going to lift the chest, lift the crown of the head. We're going to take one lovely breath here. And then with the next inhale, we're going to lift the fingers from the floor and we're going to swing our right arm in front of our body. And we're going to take our left hand behind our back and the right hand is going to come round and land on the left knee. The flip. So we've twisted our body round to the left as well with that movement. We've all done that beautifully. We're going to keep just check in with those right toes and see that they're still active and pointing up towards the ceiling. Drop those shoulders down away from the ears and hold this twist for one lovely breath. Lovely. We're going to try and go up into a lovely stretchy lift here now. So we're going to keep our left hand on the mat behind us nice and flat. We're going to release the right hand from the knee and we're going to let the, that left knee drop down towards the floor in front of our body. And we're going to roll our body forward to follow the knee. We're going to roll onto the right foot that's extended. And we're going to lift our hips and our right arm up towards the ceiling. So anybody with me? That's it. Excellent. Dave's with me. And Diane's got it now. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Lovely. And then we're going to lower that hip back down to the mat and lower that right arm back down to the mat. Lovely. And then we're going to release the left leg and we're going to take it down to meet the right leg. We're going to come back onto our bottom and face our feet and we're going to give both legs a little bit of a shake. Lovely. And then we're going to take the right foot and we're going to place it on the mat. And we're going to draw the right foot in towards our bottom, bending the knee. We're going to bring it in as close as we can. And then we're going to use our right hand to help us take that right knee out and down towards the floor on the right hand side. And we're just going to have a little bit of a shuffle to see that we're still sitting on both sit bones. And we're going to keep that left leg nice and active with the left toes pointed up towards the ceiling. And we're going to start with our hands either side of the hips resting on the fingertips. We're dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. We're lifting the chest. We're lifting the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And then with the next inhale, we take the hands off the floor. And this time we draw the left hand in front of the body and over towards the right knee. And the right hand goes back and behind our body and it finds its way to the floor. We twist our body round to the right at the same time. The left toes are still nice and active. We're dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. And we're taking one more lovely breath in this lovely twist. Okay, so now we're going to try that supported uh, stretch on the opposite side. So we start by taking the right hand nice and flat on the mat. And then we release the hand from the right knee. And we let that right knee drop down to all further down towards the floor and we roll our body over towards the right to follow the weight of the knee. We turn our extended foot so that we can rest on our extended foot and we lift our hips and we lift our left arm up above our right arm and we stretch that arm up towards the ceiling and we're stretching down the side. Good stuff. So we're going to hold it there and take a breath. And then we're gently going to lower that hip back down to the mat. Lower your arm back down. We're going to release that right leg. We're going to take it down to meet the left leg. We're going to give both legs a little bit of shape. Well done. And then placing both feet on the mat and walking the feet in a little. We're going to take our upper body back down to the mat taking our head and our upper body back down to the mat. And we're gonna walk our feet out away from the center of the mat so that they're maybe as wide as the mat. And then we're gonna let our knees fall together and maybe meet each other in the center of the mat. 
We're going to have a little bit of a wriggle of that lower back and let that soften down into the floor. We're going to take that wriggle up to the shoulders. We're going to keep them nice and soft and in contact with the mat. And then we're going to take our arms out at shoulder height. We're going to bend at the elbows to get our cactus arms. So we've got a nice little stretch across the chest. We're going to tuck our chin in towards our chest. So we've got a nice little stretch in the back of the neck. And we're going to let our, our, our legs just do their own thing, let gravity do the work. And we're just going to rest here and take three lovely breaths. Just going to focus on our breath. We're going to focus on letting everything that's in contact with the floor just be nice and soft. We're maybe going to think about those lovely belly breaths that we started our practice with. Maybe your legs are shaking a little here, but just breathe into them. Let's take our final breath here. And then we're going to release those knees apart. And we're going to draw our knees into our chest and draw our arms and our hands up and hug those knees into our chest. And we're going to have one final little roll on that lower spine. And then releasing your hands from the knees, we're going to let the knees roll over onto one side and go down towards the floor. Our body's going to follow and roll over onto that side. And then we're going to use our arms and our hands to very slowly bring ourselves back up into an upright sitting position. So I'd just invite you to join me in sitting nice and tall. Lifting the chest, crown of the head up towards the ceiling, hands together in prayer, thumbs to chest. One final inhale and exhale to complete our practice. Namaste. So, thank you. Thank you all. Sorry about the technical issues at the beginning. <laughs>